Yeah, hello again to our next episode of U-200 Force Adventures on the North Atlantic. We have uh, sunk so far 9,505 tons. And we are now on our way to AM-54, right up here. And then we will patrol this area, the northern channel of the western approaches. Let's see, maybe we run into a convoy. We still have uh, six torpedoes uh, left in the bulk compartment and uh, one torpedo in the front externals. But it's too dangerous to um, load it into the boat right now. And we have still one external in for the heck, uh, for the, the stern tubes, but uh, also way too dangerous in this area to load these torpedoes on uh, day or night. So this should be enough for now to handle any conway we run into it. So let's see what happens. I also have uh, a minor bug, the, the radar, albeit it's working here, does not revolve its antenna and I don't know why to be honest. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, we have three ships spotted. So far as I can see, there is no escort around. I mean, that's a pretty bold move in 1943, to be honest. Holy crap. Let's see what we do, what we do have here. And now suddenly the antenna is revolving again. Now, Jesus Christ almighty. What? Uh, uh, anyway. Okay, now let's see. Estimated range. Seven thousand meters, okay. And they are coming right at us. Now that's nice. Yeah, okay, let's get into position. Okay, so now let's see how far they are away. 5,650. Yeah. About 5,600 meters. Ah, there they are. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy, kleine Fahrt voraus. Let's see. Okay, that's uh, bulk freighter. 
2,900 tons. A Belize class tramp steamer, 1890, okay. And what do we have here? A Granville, 4000, Joe. Uh, I would say we take the Granville first. And then the bulk freighter, and uh, we leave the 1800 tonner to pick up the survivors. Seems like a good plan, I would say. Okay, what do we have here? We have, uh, no, I don't want to have this guy here shot. I shoot with the uh, tube four. But first we need to preset things like always. So we shoot tube four on the grand wheel and I want to spare this one here for a convoy. Okay. Ah, oh, sure. There they are. Five thousand five hundred, okay. We slowly creep into position. Okay. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Große Fahrt voraus. Let's get closer. Okay, now let's see. Five thousand three hundred, okay. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Kleine Fahrt voraus. We need to get closer. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin, kleine Fahrt voraus. Now let's see how far they are away. 5060, holy crap. Ugh. Okay, now let's see. Four thousand seven hundred. No, that's not bad. We're getting there. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Neuer Kurs 69. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Volle Fahrt voraus. Okay. 4080, not too bad. Three seven, yeah. Noise. Okay, let's go. 
There he is. That's the bulk freighter. That's the small tramper. And uh, that's the Grenville. Where is he? There he is. Three thousand five hundred meter set. We have bow to the right about forty five degrees. Okay, let's let's get that and now we need to get the time. Jesus that weather is so bad. The bulk is 100 meters. Where's the 100 meter mark? There it is. Okay, that's the yellow one. Uh, they're going really slow. Uh, about four and a half the four and a half knots uh, like let's take it there <coughs> and the uh, granville where is he Why can't these retards not hold the fucking periscope depth? That's the bulky, that's the tramper. Okay, there's the Granville. The Granville has a draft of six meters. Yeah, yeah, six. I got a little bit less than seven. Solution is running. Okay. There is the bulkhead. 90 degrees, zero, 3000 meters. Fire three. Well, let's see if that works. God damn it, he. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Ruder 2, 4, Grad Backbord.
Uh, it doesn't look like it's working. Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. Ah, uh, okay, one has missed. Just detonated back there. Ah, oh, crap. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Yeah, wasted two perfectly fine torpedoes. Damn it. Okay, let's see if we can surface again. Okay, let's continue. Yo, there we go again.
But my radar set is working. That's good. Uh, because this one was uh, picked up by the radar and not by the uh, Metox. Oh, yeah, now he is coming in. Ja, we are a lucky bunch, that's for sure. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> And you might wonder why the, Will the, the Wellington has only a pilot but no co-pilot. Actually, that was the case. Also, the Lancaster and the... Uh, Oh, is he coming? Oh, yeah, dude, that's not a Spitfire. Come on, eh? holy crap. Uh, okay. That's actually also the case in the Lancaster. They both had only a pilot seat, but no co-pilot position. And it was uh, actually quite often the case when they had um, damaged bombers that the... Uh, The front gunner, who was also the guy who operated the bombing site, that flew the plane home. And in one case, there was uh, a Vickers Wellington, uh, which caught fire, and the guy stepped out, uh, one of the gunners stepped out on the plane, on the wings, in flight, and ex extinguished the fire. He got the Victoria Cross for that stunt. So, okay, this guy is gone. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin, kleine Fahrt voraus. But holy crap, he, I hate airplanes. Yeah, okay, business as usual, far submerged and so on. We still are submerged and we have a, a hydrophone contact. Warship, medium speed, closing in, 220. There he is. Oh shit, and he has hedgehogs. Holy crap, we need to avoid this guy here, that's for sure. Yeah, hedgehogs. Nasty little things. But he is also well armed with depth charges. So yeah, we better stay away of this guy. Okay, we have lost the hydrophone contact so far. Let's just do a quick uh, sneak peek and then we'll surface again. Oh, it's raining now. Ah, yeah. Nice weather. Absolutely nice weather. Okay. Yeah, so far so bad. Holy crap, and we are even worse better than before. Nice.
Derzeitige Tiefe 1-0. Okay. Yeah, let's continue on our mission. Radar has picked up another contact. 0 0.9 degrees long range. Can't see anything there. Derzeitige Tiefe eins null. Doesn't show me anything. So, okay. What the hell is going on there? Yeah, at this weather we need to be extremely cautious because it might be a destroyer, it could be a merchant, I don't actually know, I just had one, one report, single contact, uh, zero, zero, 009 degrees, long distance, and that's about it. So yeah. I don't know. I need to be extremely cautious. Uh, radio contact, 340 degrees. Can't see shit here. Oh crap. To be honest, that should not work on on, uh, on uh, uh, bad weather situations. This thing here. I can lock on on a destroyer. So we do now as we don't have seen it. And we will face the consequences if necessary. Now let's see if the radar... Yeah, it still doesn't hasn't given me a second contact 340 degrees okay now let's see ah uh, come on god damn it here. it doesn't give me anything that I'm not even sure if that thing is seriously working
Jesus fucking Christy. Yeah, forget the radar. <coughs> so we have to rely on the on the radio man's uh, radar contacts, but uh, if I do it manually, I cannot pick up a signal. So I'm not even sure if that thing even works. Okay, we continue. We have a new contact. Uh, you can see it burning back there. Radar contact. It's a freighter. Don't know what one to. So let's see. Gee, Belize class ten ramp, uh, crappy. Yeah, well, okay, it's better than nothing. And let's see if the radar picks him up. When I go manually. Nope, it doesn't. It's not picking up jack shit. Okay, that's good to know. Hey, look at that shit here. here. Now it's not... Ah, uh, oh, come on, eh? Seriously, get your shit together, hey. Uh, uh, anyway. <sighs> you gotta be fucking kidding me, eh? Didn't they test that shit before they released it? Yeah, well, we are straight on to him, and... Uh, we'll adjust the course a little bit. About 7,000 meters, okay. I mean, we have to take what we get. That's uh, 1943 now. And beggars can't be choosers, so we will take him. We need just to get a little bit closer. Okay, we are close to the, to the, to the ship. Come on, get down. Jesus Christ. There he comes. Craft is uh, six point eight, 
Derek he is cannot lock on the target, okay. There he is. Now oh, let's see. Solution is running. Draft 6.8, magnetic pistol is set, 7 point something is set. Okay, we shoot the homing torpedo, shoot one. Oh, we go to 40 meters. Oh, let's see if that works. There he is. I should be starting his homing run soon. Doesn't look that bad. <sighs> but yeah, he should start his search pattern he hasn't done so now okay derzeitige tiefe 3-0 why is he not running his search pattern No, nah, no, he has picked up, okay. There he goes. Hit him, yeah! Damn it. Nice one. Oh, that's a huge hole in there. Holy crap. I doubt though that this guy would make uh, that speed so far with that hole in his with that hole in his hull and yeah there she goes there she goes yeah yeah well I mean uh a small ship still better than no ship, I guess. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy, kleine Fahrt voraus. Auftauchen. Vorne oben 10, hinten kommt auch was hin. There she goes down. Yep, sinking pretty fast, holy crap. That's a huge hole in there, holy moly. 
If I just could get more of these homing torpedoes, I'll buy the original. Uh, uh, they only worked against escorts and destroyers and were highly unreliable and uh, easily countermeasured with the Foxer device. But in the game, ah, well, it's a game. There we are. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Ein Drittel Fahrt voraus. Auftauchen. There are still three torpedoes left. I'm waiting for good weather, man, so I can reload my externals. But I think I do that at night, maybe. But definitely not here between the Rock Hill and the Western approaches. <laughs> definitely not. And some little bit nicer weather I would really appreciate, to be honest. Okay, let's continue on our way. Yeah. Albeit I said in the last episode we won't go there, but uh, we did go there. AM-53, patrol quadrant reached. We need to stay there 24 hours. And uh, let's hope that works. And then let's get the hell out of here. Eh? Yeah, we just had a radar contact that uh, zero degrees head on and I'm bailing out the uh, hell to the north now and uh, it's a flower class so that means we can outrun them on the surface so it also has no radar so let's get the hell away of here but there is the next one coming it's uh uh, heavy patrol the area here as it was in real life too so we will now get the fuck out of here I mean I might be stupid but I'm not that kind of stupid and let's get the hell out of here we reached the patrol quadrant at least we tried because we right now are on pretty shallow waters it's 67 meters that's not even uh, deep enough for a crash dive so let's get the fuck out of here oh shit yep that's that guy but that's a, a flower class we can outrun them thankfully the problem is, if he catches up and forces on uh, forces us on the water, we're done. The guy has hedgehogs, depth charges, and the water is not shallow enough for uh, good evas evasive actions. So let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, we just had a radar contact in about that direction, so I decided to investigate. I mean, we are out of the, the shallow water, so it might be a freighter or maybe, yeah, could be an escort too, but uh, we need to be careful. So, let's see. These guys are. Uh, we can use them. That's very uh, okay so far. Yep. 
Okay. Well, let's see. Oh, yeah, there he is. A coal freighter. Oh, yeah, that would be a nice one. Now, let's get there. Yeah, guys, uh, we went after that radar contact and we found the ship and we sunk it and uh, it was a close range shot and 200 meters distance, which should not have been possible because in reality the arming distance of a German torpedo is 300 meters. Anyways, I'll take it. Now comes the sad part. My... Uh, Recording software crashed and it's, it's, uh, this patrol is seriously cursed or something. But we have sunk him. Look here. Kohle Frachter, that means coal freighter, 5,933 tons. It was a beautiful ship. Let's maybe see if it. It was a nice one. At the was a coal freighter in the style of the uh, colliers the United States Navy used. It was actually a nice ship. And we sunk it at uh, 200 meters, that's not bad. But I won't rely on on that info because uh, it might have been a coincidence or a one-time bug or something like that. So anyways, at least we have sunk some ships now. This one here. This is the guy we, we have sunk at. Um, that's a ship type the, U the United States Navy used as colliers, uh, I think, even prior to World War One. And one of these, uh, if memory serves, even disappeared without the trace in the Bermudas. So, yeah, a nice ship type. Looking good. So, yeah. Now let's see, we have had 9,505 tons from the last time, from the last episode, and then we have the 1,735 from the Belize Tram Steamer, and the 5,933 from the Collier. We have sunk now 17,173 tons of enemy shipping. I mean, that's not a bad thing for 1943, to be honest. That's... Uh, already a, a hugely successful uh, uh, patrol so far so we are now uh, having two torpedoes left one of them is a homing torpedo as you can see I shot uh, uh, number three on the collier at the 200 meter distance and it worked so yeah we need to get uh, going and maybe we can sink another ship or maybe we even get into a convoy. That would be nice. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Yeah, we just received a radio message. U461, it's a milk cow, has arrived at AK-56 in the central North Atlantic. Um, supply uh, 
the window is from 21st of April to 25th of May. Oh my god, uh, Jesus Christ, only bad weather here. That's right here. So we have uh, four milk cows available now. We still have the Max Albrecht in El Ferrol and the Gelting down here at uh, Canarian Island and Las Palmas. And we have, of course, uh, the U-Boat Tender Neustadt for the monsoon boats. So, yeah. Let's see what happens. There they come. Oh crap. Yeah, this one was a surprise for me. I was a little bit tired and I fell almost to sleep. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Now let's see if they drop or if they don't. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Oh. Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. I mean, they have clearly seen us, so what's going on? Or haven't they? No, oh, looks like they're gone. Well, okay, I mean... <laughs> Good for us. Okay, business as usual, far submerged. Oh, I was lucky. I could reload my external torpedo and uh, no airplane showed up. That's a risk I won't take all too often, I'm telling you. Especially here in that area. <coughs> because we are right now covered with airplanes so yeah okay now we need to get that thing loaded and then we'll continue our way yo we have reloaded the tube so we have now Four torpedoes, uh, uh, three torpedoes in the front, and one still in the external for the for the stern tubes. I'll reload that in the night, and now let's continue. We have spotted a troop transport. There he is. Nice. That would be a nice addition to our tally. Medium passenger freighter, 6,600. Yeah, I would love it. What's his max speed? 17 knots. Oh yeah, he can outrun us. We take the homing torpedo.
And now we need to get a little bit closer. 9,000 meters, yeah, we need to get closer. Okay, we got him on the hydrophone. Let's see. 3,900, yep, nice. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's see. So there she is. As I want to get still a little bit closer. Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. Ruder 1-1. Grad Steuerbord. Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Jesus Christ, this thing is so annoying here. Three thousand nine hundred, okay. Ja wohl, Herr Kalloin, neuer Kurs. Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. Neuer Kurs, drei. Three, seven, okay. Let the man, it was two two. Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. There she is. Bow to the left, ninety degrees. Okay, we need a speed. Medium passenger freighter. We need the speed. Hundred thirty eight meters, that means we need to get the hundred fifty meter marks, that's the red one. Okay.
A little bit for, uh, I don't know. Let's do it again. I mean, why would a ship that can go 17 knots go 5 knots in U-boat infested waters? That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But on the other hand, yeah, uh, uh, crappy. Uh, seriously. Five knots, okay, we go with five knots. We have uh, about 10, 90 degree angle, that's okay so far. That's a little bit more. Oh, it. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And the draft is 8.9. That's 9 and a little bit. Shoot 2. Just in case. There he goes. Uh, looks good so far. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, looks not bad. Yes, 
should start his search pattern any second now. I think he has picked it up. <sighs> ah, I should. Should work. Why is he? I should get the sound picture now, so why is he not running a search pattern? Or maybe he has already picked them up. Oh yeah, it looks good. It looks good. So, through the calm seas, I guess it picked it up right from the start and wasn't the need to now let's see if that works or if we need another one ah, let's take two three doesn't make any speed anymore it seems I'd slow down Yeah, she's definitely slowing down. Oh yeah, she's less than four knots. I think we just have to wait.
Oh, look at that. That's a huge asshole. <laughs> Shoot three. There it goes. Now let's see if that works. That was a nice one. Yeah, I think now it's really just a matter of time. Uh, holy crap, eh? nice little, nice little holes here. <laughs> yeah, she is going down by the stern. And we have her. There she goes. And she's gone. Okay. We still have two torpedoes left though. Okay, now let's see what do we have. We have had... Uh, plus the Collier. Plus 6,759. We have 23,932 tons now. Hey, that's a major success. Okay.
Vorne um 10. Ein Drittel fahren voraus. Ja, Paul Tubes Indicate closed. Nice. Erste Seewache sieht klar machen. Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. Gehen wieder auf Jawohl, Kurs, Herr Kalloin. Ein Drittel Fahrt voraus. Jeez, that radar set is so fucking annoying. Yeah, well, we have sunk some nice shipping here. And uh, we still have two torpedoes left. Yeah, 22,932 tons, that's not bad. So, let's go, continue on our way, and... I'll end the episode here, and I wish you all a nice weekend, have a good time, stay safe out there, and I hope to see you all again in our next episode of U204's Adventures in the North Atlantic. See ya. Bye-bye.